Hi, I'm Paris, and here in Austin, Texas, wasps building nests under the eaves. That season runs from about spring to mid-fall, so I have traditionally used this particular spray, which is very effective, though I'm afraid very poisonous, to uh, kill the wasps and make sure they don't come back to the nest. But after becoming concerned about how toxic this is, in part by watching how quickly it kills the wasps, and you spray them, they just drop straight down on the ground, they don't twitch around, they are dead, worried me a little both um, because we have dog in the yard and for birds that might come and eat the dead wasps. So I was looking for something a little safer, but also still safe for me. I don't want to just get a bunch of angry wasps coming at me when I'm trying to spray the nest, but this is the EcoSmart Wasp and Hornet Killer. Works a little differently than this. Well, maybe a lot differently. And unfortunately, I have some first-hand experience with this spray. So let me tell you about these two. Maybe one or both of them would be something you'd like to have in your house for when you're dealing with wasps building nests under the eaves. Epic review guys. These two cans of Wasp and Hornet spray both have about 14 ounces in them. The Hot Shot goes for about seven or eight dollars over at my local supermarket. The Eco Smart's about $4 more. If you can't find these locally, I'll put a link to these down below the video. I've been using the Hot Shot spray for probably six or seven years, the Eco Smart for the last couple years. Now, one main difference that, that may be a deal breaker for you from the start is this has a rated spray distance of 27 feet, and this one is 18 feet. So if that extra nine feet that you can get away from the wasp nest when you're spraying it is really important, then you may want to stick with this one. I, I haven't measured the distance. I've sort of been busy making sure I didn't get stung when I've been spraying, but I can definitely vouch for the fact that this does spray noticeably further than this one. As for the contents of the cans, on the Hot Shot, the uh, first two active ingredients, I can't pronounce them. I'm sure though they're pretty strong pesticides, especially as there are a number of warnings on the back about don't use this where it can leak and run into water, go down into the sewer, get into any water because this is toxic to aquatic life. The Eco Smart, I can pronounce for you the first active ingredient, it is peppermint oil. Now if you're saying to yourself, oh there's no way I'm going to go out there with a can of peppermint oil spray and take on a wasp nest, peppermint oil in your eyes, in your nose, in your mouth. It's what I imagine pepper spray is like. Fortunately, I have not been pepper sprayed, but I imagine that's gotta be it because I carelessly was spraying this when the winds suddenly shifted around and it blew, wafted some of this into my face and oh my gosh, you can't see. Your eyes are burning and tearing. Your mouth, that were, I mean, it just got on my lips and a little bit of my tongue, just burning intensely. And all you want is to get that off and to get away from there. And if that's what it does for the wasps, to the extent that they're so distracted they're not gonna pay attention to me, it's fine. It doesn't matter to me that they're actually killed so long as they abandon the nest and go somewhere else. This EcoSmart environmentally friendly spray does say it will kill the wasp, and I have seen it kill some, but again, my experience, if you have six or seven wasps crawling around on the nest, and you hit it with this, probably three or four of them will just immediately drop on the ground. They don't twitch, they are dead. The other two will try to fly off and drop, and then that's it. They are gone and you are finished. With this one, what I usually see is so long as you actually spray the wasps themselves, they fall off the nest, they fall on the ground, they thrash around, and sometimes they will die, but sometimes they will fly off, obviously, in a great deal of distress. And the warnings on the back of the EcoSmart bottle are to not get it in your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and so forth. But there's nothing on here about watch out using it around other animals. I'm sure if you were spraying it and that, that mist got into your dog's eyes or mouth, it would be very, very painful for them, just like it was for me. But basically, there's some kind of a secondary poison in this that can kill the wasp. But this is environmentally friendly, so it's definitely safer for the environment maybe a little more risky for you because it doesn't have that sudden death effect with the wasp that you're pretty much guaranteed with this one. But you have to decide how you feel about that and how you feel about having the toxic chemicals sprayed around on your window, on the eve of your house, dripping down into your yard, and the wasps that are killed and what animals eventually eat those.
So my rule of thumb now is I still use both of these, but I go to this first. If it's a small nest and it's not too far up and this can easily spray it, I'll just uh, annoy the wasps with the peppermint oil and convince them to leave. And they don't come back to the nest even though it doesn't. it's not full of this kind of poison. I've never seen them come back and try to rebuild a nest that's been sprayed with this. But if it's something I missed and it got a little bigger and there's seven or eight or ten wasps on it, or if it's really high up and I'm not sure this spray is going to reach, then I will use the hot spot. Now I'm just telling you what works for me. If you're allergic to wasps, you probably shouldn't be out there with either of these sprays. You should probably be in your house and having somebody else take care of this for you. But you can get the set of these two probably for about $20 and then you're covered for when you can be eco-friendly but when your safety has to come first. Again, I'll have links to both of these down below the video. You can keep checking back for future videos or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.